Historically, the healthcare treatment model has been built upon the development and prescription of medicines on a one-size-fits-all basis. Under this model, it can take tens of thousands of potential drug compounds entering a process that can cost billions of dollars and take up to 15 years to complete to result in potentially only a single drug making it to market. The majority of this cost and time is due to attrition, learning the hard way which drug compounds aren't effective, have unacceptable side effects, or work for only a fraction of the population. For this model to work from an economic perspective, and given the additional pressure of short patent protection periods, the resulting drug needs to be a blockbuster, generating billions of dollars of revenue through prescriptions to the largest numbers of patients possible. Unfortunately, patients are not all the same. Many diseases have complex genetics that can present similarly, but could have very different outcomes, and consequently different requirements for treatment. Major pharmaceutical companies have responded to these problems by merging, but this has not addressed the economic risks of research. And despite overall research budgets continuing to rise sharply, the number of novel drugs being developed has remained static. Clearly, this cannot continue. One important new approach has involved understanding the underlying basis of disease and through that knowledge, increasingly tailoring a treatment regimen to the specific genetics of that individual, true personalized medicine. Many diseases have a genetic origin, and rapid developments since the completion of the Human Genome Project in 2003 have allowed a much better understanding of them. The ability to sequence DNA has given us a much more accurate way to gain information about how each of us work. Our genetic sequences are as unique as our fingerprints, identifying biological traits. From the color of our eyes to our blood types, Genetics define much of who we are as individuals. They can also tell us a lot about predisposition to and progression of disease, and even our response to particular medicines, including whether it may work for a particular patient and whether any side effects are likely. This information is proving invaluable for the identification and development of new drug compounds, as well as improving the accuracy of patient diagnoses and drug prescription. Over the last decade, the cost of sequencing a person's genome has fallen rapidly and is now less than $1,000, making it affordable for the broad research community and enabling a new model for drug discovery based on the genes of individual patients. Now, tailored research programs, where early identification of patient groups for which the drug may not work or could be toxic, are being established. These patient groups can be excluded from the study, focusing efforts on patients who are most likely to benefit, reducing research time and enabling a model which is more efficient and cost-effective. One powerful example is that of crizotinib, a treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, which took seven years to get to market, as compared to the normal 14 or more. From the first identification of genetic targets in 2004, to FDA approval in 2011, creating an annual return of $230 million on an investment of $500 million. As a result, a world of possibilities for drugs targeting specific segments of the population has opened up. Drugs which would not have been developed due to being suitable in a limited patient population now have the potential to be attractive to pharmaceutical companies. Looking back at the example of crizotinib, the drug is effective for only 5% of patients based on their genetics, but is still able to provide a healthy return. Genetic screening now enables us to match the right drug to the right person at the right time. This is the essence of translational genomics and personalized medicine. And Horizon is at the forefront of driving forward this powerful new model.